um, I want to deal with a couple of things right now based on this uh, Leviathan energy. And um, to document this, you need to get the book Damionic Reality. Because as we said, and I mentioned the last time, and it's interesting because you got your brother here now, uh, 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 and, and which is a very special weekend to the simple fact that um, the introduction uh, of Brother Taranja, which is um, which is uh, a brother on the scene that is doing some good work. This is his first time coming out, which is very good. That we so it's a very special weekend. Anytime we can get a a, a brother, you understand what I'm saying? Somebody new coming up through the ranks and actually tapping into this particular thing. Basically, somebody else on the damn frequency. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because we only got a few soldiers on the actual frequency, period. And like they say, to find a real black motherfucker, you're going to have to go to a goddamn museum. In fact, so now, the key is, um, this particular Damien, this particular Damien, this particular Damien comes from the ancient word Amien, or uh, Amen, or uh, Amen, which just means hidden. And if you notice, if, if you notice, what's that, D-D-E-N, hidden, this particular Damien just means hidden. Even the word Omen, they don't do things, or uh, M-O-N, or uh, M-E-N, Omen is Amen, and it means hidden. They got a movie that's uh, hidden. And this is one of the main key things of what they're dealing with in their particular movies. And what we're dealing with based on the alchemical treatment is we're dealing with the black person or the soul actually called in new mythology the shadow. Now, the other day I told you that evil is good in the context of where you put it. Now, Context of alchemy. I want to get this particular book. This is interesting. This is a book called You on Evil. So you're gonna give you a whole lot of psychological things on why why people do this and why people kill and all this type of thing. But if you actually check his particular um, the context and look at this particular uh, the particular uh, uh, chapters, he has this word. The shadow and the fight of the shadow. The, the, the fight with the shadow. Now, we're not just talking about psychology because he, basically what Hume did is Hume literally purchased a Gnostic text when they dug up the Nag Hammadi library in 1945. Hume and his, his particular Institute went over and they had enough money to purchase one of the particular texts called the Seven Sermons of the Dead. There's a whole book put out by Princeton University called Gnostic Hume. So therefore, he was able to surpass Sigmund Freud because he was dealing with the African shit. Now, on the other hand, dealing with this particular, the fight with the actual shadow, we're not just even talking about, even in psychology, when you go in psychology, they say if you're ever going to get Better, you're going to have to face your demon. Or get on top of your demons. This was the role in, even in Star Wars when they told him to go in the cave. Luke Skywalker, go in that cave. So Yoda told him, he said, what? He said, what's in there? He said, only what you take with you. Which the cave is actually his true self. Now, this is the interesting part is, why is this connected with evil? Now, we're not talking about psychology here. This is a little bit different, what we're talking about here. We're talking about a form of an up, uh, of the ultimate weapon in the last days. This particular evil is divine. It's not the type of evil that you manifest physically by physically going out to kill anybody, because by doing the physical act, that is actually giving credit to the physical, and therefore you are actually doing the opposite. This is talking about a train of thought that the Book of Law says, compassion is a vice for kings. So what we're talking about is the alchemical process of getting to your pure energy or the pure essence 
of your energy as we know the government understands that he's killed this over the years by giving you fundamentalistic religion and making you so-called quote-unquote good. And why is it every time we quote-unquote turn good, shit fall apart and not all that, the, most, the so-called people that so-called good, you don't like no more. Including the newfound conscious motherfuckers. Oh, peace and love, brothers and sisters. And you saying, man, I don't even like these motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And it's the same shit. It's not just the, it's not so, so the good shit is not just subject to dogs on the church anymore. It's the newfound motherfuckers in the conscious community now. All oh, brothers and sisters, all, oh, it's a blessed day, greetings, and oh, fuck all that old dumb shit. <laughs> My goddamn corn's hurting. I don't want to hear no bullshit about no greeting and no peace and love and no beautiful goddamn day. They say face your demons and we're talking about the true essence on the way this particular part is. Now what are we talking about here? You, J-U-N-G, on evil. On evil. Uh, by Mary Steen. What's that? S-T-E-I-N. Stein, Mary or Murray Stein, M-U-R-R-A-Y Stein. Now, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the kind of energy, the kind of evil that's pure energy. And what we're talking about is this. Now, you have to take this off of the moralistic and humanistic side of shit. Because we have to stop thinking like humans. Based on history, we were advanced rulers of the universe and we later on became human as a hibernation stage before the metamorphosis but now we are going to metamorphosize but we are still now trying to be human which is the cocoon stage so what is the other stage the other stage is this evil monster that they're showing in all the monster movies is your ass. So what is the ultimate hieroglyph for the evil monster? It would be that based on the alchemical term that we're talking about as far as the mythology. It would be something like the movie Alien. Take no prisoners. You see what I'm saying? Now we understand based on the Egyptians or the Camites, the ultimate symbol for chaos was not the lion. The lion is the archetype of the divine transformation. So they said a lot, well, the lion was the most greatest animal, the strongest animal in the animal kingdom. That's bullshit. You, like I told you last week, you walk up on the lion, based on him not being hungry, you might be able to get away. You walk, if you swim with a shark, if he don't see no blood, you might be able to get away. You might be able to play with him. But a crocodile, there is no compromise. So the divine emblem of Sebek was the crocodile because a, co a crocodile, the only motherfucker in the animal kingdom, there is no compromise. Same way with the movie Alien. Now where did they get it from? Alien comes from an ape, Geiger, Necronomicon, which was, he was inspired by the cult and, and by the occult and also H.P. Lovecraft. The guy ripped his stock, flew over to Europe, saw these magnificent Necronomicon paintings, and later on drafted his Alien movie. So alien is the ultimate archetype of who we are. That is the alien because even in the Gnostic text, the Gnostic text, they talk about the alien God, represented in your book, um, um, Bentley Layton's book, The Gnostic Scriptures, on um, the alien God. So we're talking about here another system. Now what are we talking about alchemical? And this is what we're talking about. We're talking about this. We're talking about the word Prime evil. How you get this word prime evil? That means that evil, or as you say, equals was in the beginning. That's all that is. I don't give a damn what religion, whatever. We're talking about chaos, and if we're talking about chaos, we're talking about carbon. If we're talking about carbon, we're talking about melanin. Now. In the cycle of what we're talking about here on pure evil, I like that shit. 
I'm pure evil. That shit even sound good now. If you get out of the damn bullshit old moralism, that's to keep a person down. That's a political shit that ain't but 2,000 years old. And understand pure evil. The ancient African or the ancient Atlantean or the ancient Egyptian understood formulas. That's what Corley was talking about. That's what Austin Spear was telling Corley, because even Corley didn't get it. Corley fired Austin Spear, because he said, damn, you too weird. <laughs> Corley said, hey, man, if you're looking at any goddamn deity to be up under, you ain't getting it. These are mere tools to use. And, and these are white people talking, which is the lesser entity. He said, these are mere tools to use as formulas to get results. And when those results stop happening, throw that bitch into the trash can. So what we're talking about here is pure evil as formulas. We're talking about here this. We're talking about this prime energy bottled into a pit or a circle. Now as we know that anything that you put in something encased, the older it gets, the more stronger it gets, so that eventually it is even stronger than the thing that bottles it. So we're talking about the mother energy that was bottled, the primal energy, which is the mother in mother energy. Tiamat, the chaos goddess, Apel, who wrath over fruit. This particular energy, after so many millions and billions and billions of years, of being bottled, it becomes stronger than the thing that bottled it. So we're talking about being even against God. Oh, now you are going too goddamn far. See, you, you, cause you, we are Afrocentric, we are conscious, but we are still Judeo-Christian in the mind. That's a saved religion. Spawn is supposed to tear down the gates of heaven. Oh, no, no, my Bible says, your goddamn Bible tells you that heaven and hell will pass away. It tells you that in the Bible. It says that heaven and hell will pass away. That's one thing you, you start all the shit you want. Now, if you take King James Version as a chronology and use it, it's a fucked up book. But if you take King James Version as a dissecting dictionary, then all the shit is up in there. If, I, if you go to the King James Version, I guarantee you, every shit I'm saying, if you know where to find it, it's in there. In there they say heaven and hell will pass away. They say a new heaven and a new hell. So my point is, if heaven is going to pass away, what the fuck I'm trying to get to heaven for? <laughs> that shit is moving <living> too. <laughs> Re the Revelation? One of them. 22nd chapter of Revelation. Now, the truth is, what was bottled in the beginning? The fallen angels were bottled and trapped in the beginning. That's why when you go to ancient Timon or you go to ancient Greece, which is nothing but that it all gone. Cretan, as you can see, there's some new shit now. The ancient, the, the Iliad and Odyssey and the ancient stuff is coming from, we know, Phoenicia, but also Crete, which is Babylonia, Mesopotamia, which is still all black. But ain't, even if we deal with ancient Kemet, it is a mentor that rises up. You get it? That means that the Christ energy is not coming from heaven. It fell and was here in the beginning. You see what I'm saying? That's, it, it was here in the beginning, so we should be trying to look to hell. Because if you got them a thousand miles away up in the sky, then hell is on earth if you're looking down. But the seed is in a mentor. The seed is bottled in the core. Jung talks about a god called Kor. That's no more than, than Osiris or any underground deity that will give, or uh, say that will give birth to the cosmic seed. Why is it called? It's like this. The heaven realm did its act. See, any time you do something, you put forth something, you've already done it. That's the act that's already done. 
So the heaven realm created the physical realm. End of story. Now anybody knows in order to create a new, you must destroy that what you created to build a new building. That means that the heaven realm, which is the lowest aspect of the creation that becomes a destructive force, is the only thing that can create some shit. The satanic realm. If you understand energy, if, if, you, if, 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 if you take anything in regeneration process, the word set or foot is also the word shook in Mesopotamia, and you get the word shit. That's where the word comes from. Shit is an ancient word for the word soot or set or soot. And it means shit, which means excrement. It is the excrement that all moralistic religion has turned against and, and is talking shit against. It is the excrement that gives you the divine spark. That's a third of shit right there. <laughs> Within Within the turn of shit, no, I don't need that, because if a motherfucker shit, you know, they can make that smooth. Because we talking to a little bit of vegetarians up in here, so we make that a little smooth turn, you know. Now, if anybody knows that it, it is the extra mess that has the divine regenerative fertilizing seed, to grow something new. Not your ass. <laughs> not the intestinal tract. Not the body. Because the body is degenerating. You see what I'm coming from? It is only the excrement. Now in the heaven realm, the physical body, or what we call the physical realm, is the excrement realm. The fallen realm. So it is the leftover fragments of the burnt up ashes of heaven. That's what we are. Because we fell down, we are the Nephilim. So therefore, the only thing that can create is us, not God up there. That is something that already happened. You understand where I'm coming from? So therefore, the actual Leviathan energy, that, and in Trevor Ravenscroft's book, The Spear of Destiny, he said, we must prepare for this Leviathan energy. Leviathan is a dragon that's in the water. Anytime you get the word sea, you get the word water. It's also talking about the deep waves of the subconscious, the oceans, the seas, the caverns, the caves. And they say this particular Leviathan is up under the water. We, they say her head, once the head is broken of Leviathan, it's a metaphysical thing. When you break a head, you break a seal. And when you break a seal, you unleash a certain amount of energy. So on one hand, they talk about the Christ smoking the heads of Leviathan in the Bible. On another part of the Bible, they tell you that it is the, the they, they say that God's going to open these damn seals up, in so many words. Then they talk about they're breaking some heads again. What this is actually talking about in alchemy is a breaking of the actual seeds, or it's also talking about that satanic realm or the excrement of creation now becoming the divine spark. So the Christ which rode into Jerusalem on an ass, that particular ass which is set, the golden ass, in actuality is the actual excrement, which later on becomes the ray of light because there can only be light born out of the damn darkness. In the beginning there was darkness. Then there was creation. Well, the creation, they said they brought order to chaos or light to chaos. Well, then if you're going to create a new motherfucking heaven and earth like all ancient scriptures, that means it's got to be some more chaos to create that. Well, we know that that particular chaos is in the melanin. Richard King told you that. And your boy Stephen Hawkins, who is the astrophysicist, says, they say, well, the universe has no ending. That's what the white man said. Stephen Hawkins says it does have an ending. They say, well, where is the end? He say it's a... It's a, uh, the smallest point of a point of a point of a point. That smallest point of a point of a point of a point is in you. That's your soul. That's the true you. That micro soul of what they call the dwarf energy. Now, ending this thing up. Okay, now, ending this thing up. This, this breaking through the science on what this shit is really talking about is this. 
a woman called in on the show, on this radio show, and asked one of these guys, this scientist, she says, is there anything on earth, this is how did she say this, is there anything on earth that is not alien, that is alien to the earth? And he said, well, that's going to be kind of hard to say because they said we can find every composite in space. We can also find in earth. So they said everything that's out in space, which is basically carbon, we can find in earth. They said the only thing that we know of that is alien to not only earth and the universe is this. So first of all, the Bible says we're going to have a new heaven and a new earth. A new heaven and a new earth. The only thing that they say is alien to both the earth and the universe, and which is basically the alien God, is some stuff that is in dwarf stars, which is burnt out stars, that is packed so tight till it produces a white powder or a white seed that if that particular white seed was to ever become manifested either in the universe or on earth, the whole particular earth would explode. Now, based on alchemy and that dwarf white substance that they say that theory, they can't go to a damn burnt off star and find this shit. But the only theory that they know where this stuff actually is, is inside of the melanin. That white stone, which is invisible. They say in the white, it, it, it's so, it's, it's, so it's invisible in us. But in a dwarf star, which is probably big as the earth, it would be this white substance. This is based on their calculation. But in us, it's an invisible seed that it shapes even when we die, they don't even get that. All the melon there, they can't get this little seed. That's the soul. But one atom of this, the entire earth will explode, and that, my friend, is the true Christ. That's the true crystal that they're talking about, this white stone or this white seed, but of this particular white seed, but it can only be produced in something that is burnt out. So the excrement is something that was used up, it burnt out, and from the burning out it made a new seed. And from that, after it's matured, it will illuminate. You get it? Yeah. That seed, and that, my friend, is the Christ. So the only thing down here that is old enough to have that seed in it is black people, older than the goddamn dinosaurs. Older than everything else, even older than nature, because we created nature. They even got the new Gnostic scriptures dug up in 1945 when they talk about this Eve person or this feminine energy taking her, uh, uh, taking her essence and creating everything. You see, they even talk about Isis creating everything. So we understand that this particular seed. So now this also gives another question. The Christ couldn't have come 2,000 years ago. Otherwise, he's just another nigga like us. Because if he was the manifestation of this seed, then we wouldn't be here to even be talking about the Christ right now, because it would have been over. And what we're, what we're saying is the whole Revelation text, with the seals, the abyss, the dragons, and all that is an alchemical cooking pot talking about a thermonuclear energy. A subatomic energy, and that's that's the soul. But the, but the shit is that can be in any goddamn nigga bumming for quarters around a gas station, and that is the damn enigma to life. So now to to, to, to wind this thing up, what they are scared of at this particular time is the dreaded Nostradamus prophecy, the dreaded everything at this particular time, because basically everything is manifested. But then again, that's the way the spiritual shit is. It makes it, 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 it manifests in a time when we even give up on Negroes. Too like, man, hell. Shit. And, it's, and it manifests in a time now that it's scary. I don't know about the case. 
So therefore, for the mere fact that we see them getting rid of their commander in chief, you understand what I'm saying? For basically no reason at all, no reason that no other president has done, you understand what I'm saying? Let you know in actuality they have to do this particular part and call it a quote unquote crisis because there's something greater actually happening at this particular time. There's something greater actually happening. So, so what we're dealing with now, we're really at this particular time, we can say as conscious people, based on the course of the last year, that man, we are actually literally seeing the manifestation on what is to come, we are right in the thick of this particular part. You see, on what's going, because I'm telling you, anytime an armalized mom say when self accuses itself, that's when you know the end will be. Well, we understand that the house has been burning down, and that's the reality, like the guy Emil Bach said in, in, in his book, Revelation Out of Timid, a revelation of uh, Apocalypse of St. John, the revelation would go on for 10 years, and the people would have been in it 10 damn years and wouldn't even know it. Because they would have grown used to bad news. But my point is, they're running scared, and I know some shit is happening, and even Bill Lilly said it. He told me yesterday. He said, something is damn strange, man. When we walking down the street yesterday, downtown Brooklyn, and all over Manhattan, and we hardly seeing nobody. Shit all shut down. Now I don't give a damn how many laws Giuliani passed. There's got to be some kind of experimentation. When I walk around, I walk five blocks in Brooklyn in July in the damn heat at 12 o'clock at night on a goddamn Thursday night, and I can't find no niggas out in July. Wait. So at this particular time, we're going to, um, we're going to, um, um, turn the, uh, whole thing over to William Valentine. Anybody remember where we were? First thing I want to do is to pick up on where Brother Bobby Hemmett left off on some fame that is going around around Christianity because we're going to stay on that theme for a little while. My boy was talking about Creflo Dollar and you got this guy Morris Cirillo. Now this is just the back page, the front page, and this is an old one. It says, does God still heal today? Now, who are you hugging on? Right, he hugging on this Negro here, looking for healing. He's, are you kidding, Morris Cirillo? My man is like one of the top Christian lowlives out there telling you that if you don't come to Christianity, you're going to hell. Now, this is the part that really gets you. In the middle page, what that say right there? Can the devil heal? But who they got as the devil underneath that picture? Sai Baba. Yeah. Now check it out. We got Sai Baba and right above him saying, can the devil heal? And on the cover, he's telling you that he already trashed and called Sai Baba the devil, but he's going to hug you and show up. And right underneath, he got a picture of our voodoo doll. And he got all our archetypal symbols with a white Moses with the serpent, Kundalini fire, the cross of entropy. And he got my boy down here. What's the name of this other Negro that be done on Oprah Winfrey all the time? Uh, uh, yeah, Deepak Chopra. You see his eyeballs. He look like he's in Spain. Now Christianity, or what we want to call Christianity, or the fundamentalist movement, the, funda the fundamentalist movement is financed out of Buckingham Palace and the Vatican. <clears throat> and everything that we've been speaking about concerning Christianity so far, and again, Brother Bobby just said everything that we were talking about, that you are chaos folded over, that you are God folded over on itself, you are 
God in search of itself. You are God seeking the order that is your chaos within the physical body that you created to create that order so that you may study and know yourself. And that the resurrection time is here. And that the resurrection time will happen because the blood will pick up the proper signals and energy codes from light beam transmissions that are happening as they reflect off of all kinds of star dynamics. And they're coming into your periphery right now, but that your blood will be the tuning instrument. Your blood is the tuning instrument that will begin to vibrate on frequencies that is going to break that chrysalis that we were speaking about yesterday. Now where we were, where we had left off,